the universe creates and destroys everywhere. While by destroying it creates, by creating the world it destroys, in turn. Thus, it rises, and regenerates anew from the ashes of death and decay. This disappearing in order to appear again, goes on forever. It is the way the universe exists, and regenerates itself by consuming itself. This dance of life and death is controlled by a spiral triskeline, sitting at the heart of the creation. It ejects matter from its womb, and sends them to create the world, while, at the same time, it withdraws the eminent world to its womb again. The process of the creation of the world is built in in this mechanism of ejection and accretion. The meeting of the hot gases, moving away from the center, and the cooler flows, falling towards the center, generate the primary dynamics of creations of structures. This encounter creates a turbulent universe, which is the primary mechanism of generating the world. The turbulent motions of the ionized gases bring forth magnetic fields, which starts accreting matter into clumps, like super-super clusters. Once gravitating matter is formed, the gravitational forces come into play in shaping the world in forms, we see. The universe is a whirling whirlpool, made of smaller worlds, formed in the image of itself. The smaller worlds are made of even smaller similar worlds. These smaller worlds, in turn, is made of even smaller worlds, and so on. Thus, like any turbulent system, the universe is a fractal, where the micro world is made in the replica of the macro world. The larger world, in which the smaller worlds exist, support the existence of the small. Similarly, the smaller worlds feed back to the mother structure, so that the entire cosmic system function in unision, where all structures, large or small, are entangled together as an inseparable whole. As a part of the whole, where a universal dynamics operates in large and small scales, cosmic structures like supercluster, galaxy cluster, galaxy, star cluster, and star are all born in the same way. The birth of structure, in any scale, follows the formation of the universal fractal design, made of the incoming and outgoing flows. This design knits a fractal knot, which I have presented in another video. The birth of any structure is destined by the existence of the mother structure, of which it is an integral part. Similarly, the birth of the mother is destined by the existence of its mother, and so on. Thus, the universe is a hierarchically embedded knot inside knot, inside knot, and so on. In each scale, the knot is comprised of a core, intertwined by filamentary flows, forming arms around the core. Structures in the next smaller scale take birth along these arms, as well as in the core. The birth of structures along the arms and in the core are both caused by the similar mechanism of encounter of incoming and outgoing flows. However, the structures born along the arms and those born in the core may have different destinies. While the structures born along the arms remain entangled as inseparable parts of the mother body, the structures, which may be created by the breaking apart of the elongated core in the process of turning round or at the center, may leave the mother body. These dwarf bodies, emerging from the core, are usually much larger structures than those formed in the arms. I have discussed the formation of structures at the center in a separate video. Thus, birth of cosmic bodies are not mere accidents. They are necessities of upholding the cosmic design, where every structure is entangled with all, and follows its destined path, determined by the existence of its mother. Cosmic bodies are born following a universal destiny, rooted in the mechanism of the creation of the universe. So is the evolution of structures ending in death and decay. However, in spite of birth, Evolution and death, bringing constant changes everywhere, the cosmic design remains the same, creating a timeless arena where things come and go, generating the motions of time. Oh,